Hey, welcome. This is Joe from Cell Phone Geek. Hey, today I'm going to show you the new task manager that has been introduced to Windows 8. So uh, I have this uh, window on my screen here for Windows Firewall, and it froze on my screen. And I wasn't able to close the window, or this, uh, yeah, the window of Windows Firewall, and I, I, I clicked the X, and it wouldn't close. It's stuck here. So I was trying to look and figure out where the uh, new task manager is because uh, you know we had task manager before in previous windows but uh, I don't have a keyboard as you can see because uh, I have uh, the tablet version of Windows 8. So I was trying to figure out uh, how to get to the task manager and actually I remembered what you can do on all the previous windows is if you right click on your uh, bottom taskbar here which in my case I'm going to hold on my finger and then this little square pops up and I let go the right click it's like right clicking with your mouse which you can do right click on your mouse as well this also works in your desktop or your laptop uh, setup of Windows 8 and then the third choice from the bottom says task manager so you have properties lock the taskbar and task manager if you click on task manager it opens up this new window with uh, actually a whole bunch of cool new features that uh, the task manager didn't have before well they're they're located other places on your computer and now they have them integrated into the task manager which is pretty cool so once you open it up then you have uh, you know you have the tabs across the top here let's see if I can get this close and see if you guys could read this alright so you got uh, processes performance app history startup users details and services um, on previous versions of Windows you had the processes and performance you had uh, users and details and services I believe were the only couple that were up there as your choices and now you uh, we uh, they have improved and added a few new uh, tabs to it like your startup and your app history so uh, here it shows you the list of running apps like it did before but now it shows you the CPU uh, percentage that uh, each of these items are taking uh, how much memory is being used uh, what is, if it's writing to the disk what percentage of the disk is being written to and also the network how much of the uh, bandwidth you're using on your current tablet here to use the internet so it shows here I have Firefox is open and the CPU shows zero because it's open but I, I'm not currently having it load any pages or anything like that and it has task manager and it says Windows Explorer and then it has a bunch of background processes here on the bottom which is running uh, like the graphic interface for this and Windows Explorer and all that good stuff. All right, so uh, to close this firewall window that I have open is under Windows Explorer. So if I touch Windows Explorer and select it, down at the bottom here it says reset. If I click that, it'll automatically close this window, and then it will. What it does is actually restart uh, Windows Explorer because that's uh, Explorer, which just Windows uses uses to run the operating system. So I'm not going to hit that right now because everything will blank out and come back. But uh, if you did have a frozen app uh, running in your arrow view, which is like your Windows 7 view, you just click on that app when you once you pull up Task Manager, you click on that app, and then you hit uh, End Task or Reset Restart, depending on which uh, app you're trying to kill. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to go out here and go to the next tab over. It's called Performance, and that shows your uh, CPU. Uh, and it shows a live uh, graphic of it, and it's uh, set to 60 seconds. So you have from 0 to 60 seconds, so it shows you what's happened in the last minute. We're reading it from right to left instead of left to right. And it shows you your utilization, the speed that it's currently running at, how many processes are running, how many threads, your handles, and your uptime. It shows you how long your device has been running, which mine shows it's been running for... 18 hours and 17 minutes and it shows you your max speed and all that in your sockets and how many cores the logical processors and then your L1 and L2 caches and then here on the left if you click on the memory one it pulls up uh, the same thing like in CPU where it pulls up a graph shows your memory being use, used uh, your memory composition uh, how much is being how much is being used how much is available uh, how much is committed, how much is cached, paged pool, non-paged pool, uh, your total speed, your lots used, which is how many slots of memory uh, you can currently put in your device. Mine only has one because it's a tablet. And all that good stuff. Then you have uh, under disk. Here on the left you have a disk and you also have Wi-Fi. So this shows you here your hard drive. So your uh, 
60 seconds to zero so it's reading it again from right to left you can see everything that's being written to the hard drive so we've got a little blurb right here from when I was running the application then it shows you disk rate which is below then you have active time percentage and average response time in microseconds then you have the capacity, the formatted, the system disk and the page file and then the write speeds and the well the read speed and the write speed that's pretty cool and then you, if you click on Wi-Fi it shows you your Wi-Fi activity so your network activity for the network so again it goes from 60 down to 0 if you read it from right to left it's 0 to 60 it shows you your speed and your throughput and it shows you your sent and received it just jumped up there for a second it was sending some information because that Firefox open so it was loading it so if I go if I do go to Firefox here and I refresh this page and web page is refreshing and then if I minimize it and look back here see the graph on the Wi-Fi jumps way up because I just went and uh, grab some data off the internet so I had to use my wireless network to grab that information so it tells you tells you how much was sent how much was received and it shows me uh, all my information here on the network that I'm connected to uh, what type of network it is and my uh, local uh, IP address alright so then uh, if you go to the next tab over over we have uh, app history and that shows uh, your apps that you've been uh, currently running since your device is on and it keeps track of uh, the CPU time keeps track of how much of the network data is grabbed uh, it's measured the network and also tile updates if it updated uh, when you're on your your other view your tile view which looks like this uh, it shows you all of your tile updates and you, any data they grab it goes in that last list and then you can scroll through here and see all your different apps uh, the next tab over is the startup tab so this shows everything that starts up every time your tablet starts or your Windows 8 device which could be desktop laptop or tablet uh, if you want to uh, disable one of these like this Adobe Reader Adobe Acrobat Reader you don't really need that to start up every time your device starts up so once you touch, click on it, like I did there, where it's highlighted, then the bottom here, it says disable. You can touch on disable, and then it would disable the device. So then it'd still be here. Like here, it says under status, it says disabled. I've already disabled it. So now when I highlight on it, and then in the bottom right here, it says enable. If I'd like to enable the device, or enable the uh, app to run when the computer starts, which I currently don't have set up, because I don't want that to run every time the tablet starts. So that's how that works, and it's real easy to uh, select which ones you want to stop from running. Because obviously, the more stuff that uh, has to boot up when you start up your Windows 8 device, the longer it's going to take. So the less time uh, you'll be able to use it, so your uptime will be a lot slower, and then also it'll use more battery life trying to start your device from being off. All right, so the next tab over is uh, users. It shows you all the users you currently have, and currently I'm the only user. So then I have the CPU, it tells me how much uh, information or how much of my available resources I'm currently using for myself. And I'm the only user, so it only shows myself. This here shows a uh, detail, so every process, everything that's running here on my device, uh, tells you about all of them. And if you click on any of them, you can hit end task and it will kill it immediately. Just like before in Windows 7 and before. Uh, same idea, it's just under details now instead of processes like it used to be under. Uh, they just changed it to a different tab. And it still shows you all the same information, your status, if it's running or if it's uh, suspended. The name of the uh, actual f uh, program or application, uh, the CPU usage, the memory usage, and a description about it. And you can kill those anytime. Uh, be be careful which ones you kill because some they may it may make your device restart or lock up on you so you have to be careful so before you just hit end task any of these make sure you know you know what they are before you kill them and then the last tab is services which shows you all your all your services here on your, your Windows 8 device which uh, normally you weren't able to get to before but now they have it uh, easier access for you so you can go in here and edit these these are basically just from uh, services that are in your registry. So you can modify these to make your device do different things or make your device run really slow or speed it up depending on what kind of changes you make. I don't recommend changing any of these if you're not an advanced user because if you do uh, mess these up then uh, your device won't, most likely won't start or won't run correctly and then you'll have bigger problems. So be careful if you play around in that. Um, 
Then, of course, you have a file options and view. So if you hit file, it says to run a new task. So you can start a new program and you got an exit. If you go under options, it says uh, it's got a box here. You can check it says always on top. Um, minimize on use. Hide when minimized. And then these are two which aren't highlighted, but it says show full account name and show history for all processes. And then when you click on it, you check a box or uncheck the box, depending on if it was checked already or not. And then the last one is view, so you have refresh now or update speed. And if you click on that, it shows you <clears throat> the uh, speed level, so you have a high, normal, low, and paused. And then you have other ones that are within here. It says group by type, expand all, collapse all, or status values. But those are all darkened, so you can't even get to those currently. Alright, so that's it for the new task manager. That's what it looks like. And you can still use Control Alt Delete to get to the new task manager, just like you were able to in previous versions of Windows. Um, but like if you have a tablet like me, you don't have, currently have a mouse hooked up to it, so you have to be able to use your finger for everything. So remember you just have to right click or you hold your finger down here and it's just like a right click and a menu pops up. And once that menu pops up, then you just hit the third from the bottom it says task manager, you click on that. And then this window pops up for you. Um, I think that's it for task manager. I'm trying to remember if there's anything that I forgot, but I don't think so. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, there's not too much to it. Um, I went and got the, got some of this information before uh, showing this video to you guys from HowToGeek.com. They have an article here on the Windows 8 uh, task manager. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can check out that link as well. But basically what I just told you is the same stuff that is in that uh, post. Uh, and I also give you a little more insight than they did when on their post that they uh, had all typed up. Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my videos. I hope you're enjoying what you see. Uh, I'm enjoying doing these videos for you. So I will see you next time. Have a great day.